So I just wanted to give my thoughts a little bit on the whole Judgment Day um, thing that happened on Raw. Um, well, it's cool to see Finn Balor turning heel and be able to lead his own faction. Um, I mean, what are they going to call it? Uh, oh, Revolver Club. <laughs> nah, that probably wouldn't work. But they got to come up with a different name. They couldn't. They shouldn't be called Judgment Day. If they're gonna, you know, di you know, go away from Edge, then they shouldn't be going with the same name that he came up with. Anyways, um, as cool as the idea is, it's incredibly dumb at the same time. Um, I didn't watch Hell in a Cell, but Judgment Day beat um, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Liv Morgan. And so Damien Priest and Rhea are like, you're holding us back, Edge. And it's like, what? He lifted you higher. What were you doing before then, Damien? Not much. You were you were doing, I don't know. You were getting some United States Championship matches and getting disqualified or whatnot. And then Rhea, you just kept getting thrown into different tag teams, not doing anything, really. How they? How are they holding you back? How is Edge holding you back? Lifted you up, is what he did. And so they're like, they just turn on him because reasons. Because no reasons actually. There's none. And Finn Balor, you know, sides with you know goes against because he's tired of doing what people want him to do. I guess I. I don't know. I'm curious to see where this goes, but at the same time, you can't deny of how stupid it actually is that that they would just do that. It, it makes zero sense. I, I I just don't get it, man. Like just like you could have Finn Balor join the group, and then have him plant seeds like later. You know, you know, like weeks later that, you know, okay, this is what we're going to do to Edge. Because, like, he's fallen. He is not our leader. I am going to be the leader. Or some Finn Balor accent. I could do it, but I'm not feeling it right now. But, you know, that's, like, that's how you do it. Plant the seeds within the group. That, but to do it on, you know, I don't even know if you can call it day one, but... You know, just minutes in, and that's what you get. It just it makes zero sense, my man. So, I don't want people going like, "Oh my God, it's the best thing ever!" You know, this this is great. Raw is great, and th this is amazing. You guys are getting what you wanted. You're getting that Finn Balor heel turn, right? And it's like, yeah, we're getting the Finn Balor heel turn that we wanted, but it, it just doesn't it it doesn't make sense for what how how it all came about. That's the problem. You gotta you know make sense. If you don't, you just, you just look like fools who are supporting the who are just supporting the company that are treating you like fools. That's why I can't ever get behind WWE. A lot of times, man, they I feel like they treat us like fools and idiots, and they just they just, they just don't take us seriously. I never feel that way when I'm watching AEW. Do are they always perfect? Absolutely not. The Sammy Guevara and Scorpio Sky thing, absolutely, that was a terrible feud. And um, I have, I was slightly disappointed by Tony Khan by that due to the fact that he never actually fully turned Sammy Guevara heel. I don't. I mean, I don't know. They're they're. You know, uh, Excalibur said they're embracing the the fan hatred, but that doesn't mean that they went heel. I mean, obviously they changed things up, but you know, it's, they still got Frankie Kazarian and tried to make it seemed like he was the baby face in my personal opinion so again not everything AEW does is perfect but for the most part I feel that they treat us uh, wrestling fans with respect and you know mostly listen to us you know again there are some times like I said especially again with the Sammy Guevara thing that Tony was kind of doing his own thing uh, which is kind of disappointing but you know I, I didn't feel like a fool for supporting the company. You know, I never feel like that when I want to put my money towards AEW that I'm just being taken advantage of. I'm getting a good pay-per-view for the money that I spend. Uh, I get good shows for the money that I spend for Hulu with my subscription to watch AEW. 
because I'll be honest, that's really the only reason why I watch Hulu is because of AEW. Um, but, you know, I never feel like my money's being taken advantage of. You know, when I'm, um, if I give WWE money, I feel like sometimes it's being taken advantage of because they don't need my money. They've already got enough money from, from everybody else. So, but it's just, it, it's, I don't, I really hate when people just are like, they kiss their ass so much. They kiss WWE's ass so much, and they're just like, you know, oh, they're the best, the best, the best, the best of the best. Look at this. They got more views than AEW. It's like, yeah, because they've been around much longer, and everyone knows of WWE. Uh, I'd like to see AEW get more uh, higher in the viewerships and in the, in the ratings, uh, because I'm a big-time lover of them, and I support them. Uh, and especially on Rampage, you know, um, there was a, there was a, it was a good show. You know, when you had the Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers there. So, I would love to see Rampage be able to get up some uh, boost in the viewerships there. But, um, you know, I understand that sometimes people just, you know, aren't really interested in tuning into more wrestling. Especially if you've just watched SmackDown. Sometimes you're like, oh, I'll catch it on the replay. So, I understand that. But anyways, uh, it's just... That's my whole uh, small little thoughts and the whole Finn Balor uh, turning heel and joining with Judgment Day. Um... I don't know. Let's let's not call them Balor Club because that was Gallows and Anderson's thing. So you gotta cut. Let's uh, come up with a different name for them. I'm not sure. I was joking when I said Revolver Club because you can't say Bullet Club, and you can't say The Club because that was AJ Styles and Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson's thing. So Finn's Club. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Um, that's all, guys. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to super click the subscribe or cough and drop the like button or hit the coup de grace in the comment section below. Just, uh, I was just kind of getting my thoughts out there on the whole situation, and it kind of turned into a little bit of bash WWE there. You know, that's that's just big, guys. That's just how I talk. You know, I really, when I get going, I just can't stop going. And when I talk about how WWE just treats people like they're wrestling fans at times, um, you know. I just gotta spread the truth because I'm tired of people just kissing their ass and they can't see through the bullshit. So, take care. Uh, enjoy Wednesday, enjoy Tuesday uh, today, and we're gonna be doing episode number 50 of the AEW Dynam of the AEW Universe. It's Dynamite. It's so fitting that the 50th episode falls on AEW Dynamite, where it all started. I love it. So, uh, take care, guys. I will see you then.